in the oscilloscope project uh, that I was working on during the past weeks and when you have followed my channel you can see everything about it uh, how I made a high voltage generator um, etc etc but um, that's in fact not what it's all about in this video here is say the first experimental circuit about how to move the dot on the screen at the moment uh, you are looking at say 50 hertz on the horizontal plates and a frequency in the order of well I think one kilohertz on the vertical plates. Anyway, uh, that's not what this video is all about. I made a tube amplifier <coughs> to amplify signals that must be sent into the vertical plates. And I've done that with an ECC83 that is a double triode, a European double triode. In America it is a name with AX or so, but anyway you can surely find that information on the World Wide Web. They are still available, I found that on the World Wide Web. Um, they cost approximately 20 euros, this tube, and I found also that uh, they are used for audio pre-amplifiers. That's not say uh, the way that I'm going to use it but in a certain way also because uh, the tube has to work here, has to amplify say all the signals that are sent into the vertical plates of the oscilloscope, the homebrew oscilloscope anyway. Well, um, I'm more or less sure that perhaps uh, we can apply to my project a certain saying in the Netherlands, we kunnen door de bomen het bos niet meer zien, we cannot see through the trees, the wood, anyway, that's a free translation uh, and it means that there could be a kind of uh, say overdone situation anyway uh, so that we cannot directly see clearly what is happening in the circuit uh, after say all the publishing of the separate schematics there is of course also a complete schematic and I am not going to show it now because I want to focus on this issue and that is a biasing a radio tube. Um, in more or less everywhere on the World Wide Web you see this situation. Uh, the cathode is connected via a resistor in the order of 100 ohms and an electrolytic capacitor and that means that the grid here is more or less in a um, certain way pushed up to a negative voltage. I cannot um, say explain this completely, it takes too much time, but anyway this is say the standard way of biasing a tube. Could be a uh, pre-amplifier tube like the ECC A3, it needs 2 volt negative um, grid voltage, but power tubes say the ECL tubes need uh, negative grid voltages in the order of 2 up to 20 volt negative connected to their grids. So here we have the standard situation but my situation is always generate a separate negative voltage. In that case you can set the bias of such a tube to a very precise 
uh, situation so that it can am uh, amplify sine waves or whatever other waves in the perfect way. So that's the aim of this video. Thanks for watching. I tell that because that my camera is flickering. So uh, how to make such a negative grid voltage? Well, in this case I've done it here, by the way, to show it. Um, this is a 24 volt AC transformer. There is a voltage divider here, so that, that we have AC 12 volts, it's rectified. It is uh, sent to a smoothing capacitor. Out of that smoothing capacitor we have a resistor. And of course the positive of that uh, rectifier unit must be connected to the zero. The, say the zero of a tube circuit, a tube amplifier or whatever. In this case an oscilloscope. My beautiful homebrew oscilloscope. But anyway, um, well, so this is how to do it. Uh, bridge rectifier here, resistor here and a resistor here. Because the, the voltage, the negative grid voltage on such a tube is more or less static. It's a static voltage. So we have here the 1M, 1 mega ohm uh, resistor. The input capacitor in the order of 0 0.47 microfarad. And here we send in the audio signal and here we take out the, the amplified audio signal also with a capacitor of 0 0.47 microfarad and 300 volts. So, and here the cathode is now directly connected to ground. Uh, compare it to this situation where that cathode is not directly connected to ground. And here it is connected to ground, but the good thing is that we can set the bias of the tube very, very specific in this way via the help of this potentiometer here. Um, and the negative voltage is generated here. Always use here, very important, uh, a resistor. Very, very important. I've used 1K5, that is 1500 ohms. You can go to, say, uh, 5 kilo ohms, that's 5000 ohms. And that resistor is necessary because otherwise the grid here, where all the signals enter to the tube, is via that electrolytic here, here uh, completely shorted out to earth. So no uh, signals can enter to the tube. So you need here a resistor. In this order I've used 1K5. Uh, perhaps when you do experiments you can use 10 kilo ohm or so. I found that this was working okay. Let me demonstrate it. My camera is flickering, so I have to be quick. Uh, this is of course not the best demo because, or perhaps it's a good demo, I don't know that exactly, but anyway. Now I turn the the bias of the tube with a oh well that's not going right here so I turn the bias of the tube here with a screwdriver a potentiometer is here so let's see what happens you can see that the tube when the bias is adapted the tube does not amplify any longer, but when it gets the right bias, in this case 2 volts, for the ECC83 you have a good amplification. So, I want to put out lights to show it better. Perhaps I'm making a shortcut, I don't hope so, but anyway, well. So here I turn that, I want to turn that pot meter again. So 
now it is minimal amplification and now it is good amplification so now we are in the order of two volts bias thanks for watching i didn't want to make this video so long but anyway it worked out that way uh, of course we see here now uh, that we are looking to a, a wave generated here by the sine wave generator that is rolling around on 50 hertz now i make the horizontal voltage smaller etc now i make it bigger etc and now i change the frequency somewhat of the sine wave generator well anyway hope it was a little bit interesting biasing is very very important also when you want to make hi-fi audio amplifiers with tubes uh, be it and tubes say el types or pre-amplifier tubes like the tube that i have showed here thanks for watching and a merry christmas